Hello everyone and welcome back again to OnHow channel. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment and if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add videos to the product page on Shopify. And I will show you that in two methods. The first one is by adding it from the product editor by implementing the video in the description and so on. The second one is by adding it to the description as well, however, from the customized tool. And if you are wondering why, what's the difference between them, well, the first one by adding it from the product page editor, uh, that's really customizable because that way you can implement the video from either it will be hosted on third party website or you can upload the video directly to your Shopify store. However, that will affect the loading time if your Shopify store, keep that in mind. And the second one, which is by adding it from the customized tool, that will only let you implement the video by adding a link from YouTube or other platform to the description page. And no worries, in this video, I will show you some really unique tricks on how to autoplay the video. For example, wherever the customer access a product page, the video will automatically start playing without having to click on the video or anything like that as well as muting the video. For example, if the video showcases your product, however, have some weird music or anything like that, and you want to mute it, I will show you how to mute the video. So the video will automatically play without the customer clicking on the play button, as well as muting the video will not have any sound or any music on it, as well as customizing the video widget to make it bigger or smaller and i mean customizing it by the millimeter you can actually make the video player either much much bigger or much much smaller and i mean any resolution you want and i will show you that as i said and without any more talking let's just jump to it and please if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button i would really appreciate it and let's just get to it so the first thing i'm going to do as i said is show you how to add the video from the product editor I mean the product page editor so let's just access some products from my Shopify store and let's just go for this one which is a bracelet so the first method which is by using the upload button from the pictures right here you can click on uh, add from here and select the video from your desktop however that will affect as I said the loading time and sometimes the video will take really long to upload to your Shopify store and I think there is a limit to the video I mean in size not in duration so the video is more than uh, two gigabyte or something like that. It will not upload on your Shopify store using this trick. The second trick, as I said, is I will show you how to implement the video from YouTube platform into your description. And I will show you how to mute the video as well as auto playing the video automatically without having the customer to click on the play button. And I will show you how to resize it however you want. So it will be responsive on the mobile and so on. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the video. And yes, I will use a video from my channel. So let me find a video from here. So let me use this uh, trailer-like video, which is the uh, 2003 won't stand the chance against you, which is uh, just a mental tips that it did help me a lot on my journey. So let's just select this video, for example. So the first thing you're going to do once you find the video that you want to implement to your Shopify store, simply click on share button right here. And after that, click on embed right here. And it will show you this code so let's just copy the code and you can actually uh, click on start and set the start time however you want for the video for example you have a really long intro or something like that you want to skip that part you can select the part where the video is going to start however let's just keep it like this and show the player control or not in my case i'm going to disable that so it does not show any uh, video controls and so on so the, the customer will not know if the video is from youtube so let's just uh, copy the embed code in here and let's just get back to the product so simply click on the insert button right here, insert video, sorry. Simply click on it and you should see this box right here and paste in the code. And then just click on insert video and here it is. However, sometimes it will not look great on the product page. Let's just click save and check it out for ourselves. So let's just access the product page from my Shopify store. And this is the product. And there is, I had to reload the page, it didn't show up at first. So as you can see, so as you can see, the video does not really look good. I want it to be uh, just like this, just like uh, in the size of this uh, buy it now button. So I'm gonna resize it as well as gonna uh, do the auto play future. So the video will automatically start playing and I will mute the video and not have any sound. For example, right now I need to click on the video to start playing and the video has sound as you can see. Hello. So that's not really good. I want to, the video to be muted and I want it to automatically play without the customer clicking on it. So let's just get back in here. And after that, 
click on this icon right here to show the HTML code simply click on it and it will show you this code right here so the first thing I'm going to do is mute the video I'm gonna mute the video so it does not have any sound or anything like that then I'm gonna add the future of auto playing the video without having the customer to click in on the video to start playing so in order to mute the video you see just uh, in the URL of uh, youtube.com for example youtube.com forward slash embed forward slash and this code right here in my case I did uh, disable the control that's why I have this parameter for the control equals zero in your case it shouldn't exist here if it doesn't simply after the code for the video add the end sign I don't know what this called in English sorry I'm not in a native English speaker so bear with me I apologize in advance so just the end sign and after that type in mute just like this and the equal sign sorry the equal sign and type in one just one the, the number one as you can see so as I said just front of the code for the video from the URL at the end sign mute equals one so let's just save the vid the page sorry let's just save the page and let's just reaccess the Shopify store and we access the page as well and see if the video will have sound on it or not and let's just play the video and here we go as you can see the video doesn't have any sound on it or anything like that I'm playing the video and it does not have any sound so right now we did mute the video it doesn't have any sound or anything like that however the customer needs to click on the video to play it to start playing I want the video to automatically play once the customer accesses the product page I want the video to start playing right away and by the way if you are interested in how to show the discounts like this uh, discounts for the product make sure to check out my channel I did make that video as well so let's just get back to the product editor right here and in here we need to add another parameter to the URL to make it automatically playing and just like we did add the mute parameter just front of the mute parameter right here uh, we're going to add another end sign and as I said I don't know what it's this called I hope so I hope it's called the end sign anyway so just add another end sign and type in autoplay and again the equal sign and type in one just similar to the first parameter however this one has autoplay equals one and let's just click on save and right now we did save the changes so let's just uh, close this and reaccess the Shopify store just to make sure we did have a fresh page okay so I had to refresh the page several times let's just do that so you can see it so let's just access our store and the product page which is this one right here if I click on it boom the video will start playing automatically I'm not clicking on the uh, play button or anything like that let's just refresh the page so you can see that my hands like this as you can see the video start playing right away and it's muted actually so the video is completely muted and it does play automatically right now we need to resize this so it can fit the buy it now button right here so we need to drag the end of the video player to this part right here and we can do that simply from changing the height and the width as you can see so the height is obviously the height and the width is obviously the width so in here we need to change the width of the video so uh, in here we have uh, 560 let's just remove that 60 and type in zero so it's only 500 it was uh, 560 and right now it becomes just 500 so we did the remove 60 uh, let's just save it and get back in here and reload it it didn't change maybe we need to access the page again that's annoying and here we go so it does take some time actually it does take some couple of seconds for the changes to be visible as you can see right now we did resize this and it's fitting the play button really good as you can see it's the exact size of it and the video is automatically playing and it doesn't have the sounds on it as you can see so the video fits the description really well as you can see and the second option I will show you is how to do that from the customize tool and the customize tool will look fancy and it's much much better when it comes to seeing the website or the product page from the mobile because you can customize it with the picture I mean the thumbnail and so on so let's just get back to the customize tool from here and click on online store after that customize and let's just go to the product page from here and let's just change the product to the product that we did demonstration on which is this one right here it has the video and it's automatically playing even here anyway okay so let's just scroll down and the first thing you're going to do is click on add selection right here on the left menu simply click on it and you will see a bunch of options click on show more 
and here is a video so click on it and it will add the video widget right here and you can hold the video by clicking on the dots right here so just click on hold and let's just drag it just below the product information in here and simply click on it and it will show us the information for the heading uh, however if you want to put the heading in here for example a video for the product just like this but i don't think you want to add the title for the video let's just keep this blank and in here as you can see you can paste in the video from youtube as i said so let's just copy the same video from here just the url you don't have to copy the embed code or anything like that just the regular url from the youtube.com and let's just paste it in here and here is however it will not show the thumbnail of the youtube video that's the downside to using this so click on select image and you can upload the image from your desktop however you can click on explore free images and let's just click on the first one in here let's just select this one and click on select and let's just save the changes it actually looks much better as you can see uh, than the video player from here let's just reload the page so you can see it in live and here we go as you can see if you do have the picture in high quality i mean the thumbnail for the video it looks much better than this one this one has auto plane the first method that i said has more options to customize like resizing the video uh, making it automatically playing the video and muting the video as well however this one doesn't have those options you can actually change the size however if we click on the team settings right here you can see the maximum width and it only like it will resize it just a little bit it does not make any difference as you can see it's exactly the same however for this one right here you can resize it however you want simply get back to the product page from the editor right here and click on the show html in here and just change the height and the width for the video player however you want so that's how you add the video to the product page on shopify and as i said if you have any questions or any requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comments and if you are wondering why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one